Welcome back to Flying Dutchman Cards, and today I have my top 10 TTMs of 2021. So I went through all my autograph returns from 2021, whittled them down to a top 10, and then I broke that down into two parts. So today is gonna be part one, so six through 10, and then part two will be one through five. So without further ado, let's jump on in and see this top 10 list. So number 10 starts off with an awesome Diamond King return from an Expos pitcher. Next one here is from Tulsa, Oklahoma. So we have, oh, got my note back. Next cards, and we have Steve Rogers. So got him here on the 84 Donruss. And uh, I always forget what this called. My brother knows, uh, Doug from Don't Talk to Robots. Um, he always shouts out what that is. Um, 84 Donruss, I feel like, is known for that. If you see that, you can tell your friends that's a Broca effect. My friends don't know about this. Really like this set. Always love Expos with those awesome powder blues as well. Then we got the 79 tops. Very nice. Um, in the uh, one of the uh, concrete... Uh, Concrete Donut Stadiums from that era. And then we got the 84 Tops All-Star. That's an awesome one. Really like that one. Um, anytime you can get an All-Star card sign, you gotta, gotta get that one. So really, yeah, this an 84, you know, obviously iconic design, but uh, just really works well with the All-Star there. And then the last one, we have an 82 Donruss Diamond King. So very cool. So kind of kind of uh, signed right over his face, but that's okay. Cool, he's got the um, uh, powder blues in there as well. So very nice. So there we go, four of four from Steve Rogers. Number nine is my first spring training return with some awesome personalized cards. And then second spring training return here from Fort Myers, Florida. We'll see if my prepping worked on these ones. Maybe it did. Um, I use the old, uh, well, not the old, um, prepped using a dryer sheet um, to just see if that would work or not. And we will see if it did. So we have Randy Dobnak. So a um, couple awesome things. Uh, yeah, I got him here on the Stadium Club Chrome rookie card, which is legit. Um, he has an awesome Fu Manchu. And uh, he wears goggles slash glasses, which is awesome. And I believe, too, his story, he was a, an Uber driver back in the day. So, Or actually, during the offseason, he drives Uber, which is pretty cool. So that one actually turned out pretty well. So excited about that. And then we have the 2021. Oh, awesome. So he, he personalized these ones. So this one, I, I put, put in the note um, that... Uh, you know, I have two boys, uh, Preston and Cooper. So he personalized this one to Cooper. So on the 2021 tops. And then the last one, very nice. This one is customized to Preston. So they are going to be super excited to get these. Um, if they're not excited now, they'll be excited later. But then got them here on the 2020 tops um, rookie card. Very cool. So that's awesome. So got three of three from Randy Dobnak from spring training and uh, the personalizations. So that is really cool. Number eight, check so many boxes, a Diamond King, Rated Rookies, Gold Cup, and of course an 89 Tops. And then our next one here is from Santa Clarita, California. So we got a little bit of water on there, but I don't think it's affected the cards. A return here, got our index cards from, oh, awesome. Danny Tartable. So he is, I sent, uh, I sent him a little bit of cash. So this is $2 per card, which is actually really reasonable. I feel like that is a fair price. Um, so got him here on the 88 Donruss Diamond Kings. Also included his number there. Um, that's a sweet looking one. And then the 86 Donruss Rated Rookie. That's awesome. So he came up with the Mariners as a shortstop. That's sweet. Uh, quickly transitioned to outfield and then was traded to the Royals in a terrible trade because um, he ripped it up for the Royals for multiple years. Um, so we did not did not get a 
Uh, yeah, he was before my time as a Mariners fan, but I always knew when he was ripping it up that he used to play for the Mariners. And then have him on the 85 Donruss. And if you'll notice something here, he had two rated rookies, which when I was looking at his cards, I was like, that is awesome that he had two of these. So uh, I was like, I got to get both of these signed because who doesn't want a rated rookie card? So um, yeah, he uh, was the son of Jose Tartable. Um, and so, uh, but yeah, Jose Tartable hit like four career home runs and Danny hit several more than that. He was a power hitter back in the day. And then on the 89 tops, very cool. He's got an awesome signature. So yeah, so I sent, um, oh yeah, then we got one more 87 tops, uh, the gold cup card. So very cool one there. So yeah, so send him, uh, two dollars cards, send him 10 bucks for these five cards. Um, but yeah, that is awesome to get those all signed. And then the, the cool part is, is this is kind of, uh, a few of the things that I want to collect in, uh, or yeah, when I'm sending out TTMs, um, in 2021, things that I'm going to be focusing on, uh, of course, 89 tops and then, uh, rookies, uh, you know, basically where they, they have like rated rookies or rookie prospect or something like that. Um, and then, uh, gold cup cards. Those are always awesome to get signed. Yeah. So we got the, the five from Danny. Number seven was one of my longest returns ever from a childhood favorite. Next return here from Phoenix, Arizona. This one's been on a long time. I hand wrote everything on the envelope. Now I use this super fancy stamp. Um, super helpful. Shout out to the wife for buying those for my, for my birthday. So I would invest in one if you want to save a bit of time. So we have, oh, awesome, Eric Hansen. So got him here on the 89 upper deck. That one is legit. Super cool looking. Um, and then the 89 rated rookie. Oh man, I remember sending this one out and I was so excited to get these back when I, when I saw it, he was signing and I've waited so long. Um, gotta love the rated rookie, um, a Mariner rated rookie, but it's not Griffey. It's Eric Hansen, uh, known for a giant 12, six curveball. I remember, um, watching him as a kid, you know, growing up as a fan, uh, he went to the blue Jays and came back and completely dominated us. Um, one time when I was, when I was watching as a fan. And then the last one here is a 91 score K man. Very nice. Wow. That one just really pops. Uh, obviously, super, you know, early 90s, late 80s background on there, but um, that one looks awesome. Also have uh, Bobby Witt on one of these K-Man cards. So super cool to get that. So man, that one is awesome. Those, those might be, you know, three of my top cards that I've ever gotten back. Number six was a great addition to the Andy PC with a number one draft pick from 89 tops and a rated rookie. Our last return here is from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, and you could say, why did you wait for this one to be last? And I will uh, I will show you here in a minute and you will, you will understand. So we have, oh man, so excited to see that he was signing. So we have Andy Bennis. So you got him here on the 95 collector's choice obviously <clears throat> for the ADPC. um but this is also great i love you know pitchers that are hitting so i was super excited that he was featured on one of those cards very nice so yeah i uh i saw that he you know people were getting him back and i was like i gotta jump on this right now and uh yeah so stoked to get these ones and then we got our 95 uh, Pacific Mariners team set card. So um, he got traded at the trade deadline uh, seven and two for the Mariners down the stretch. Had like a five, <clears throat> 5.9 ERA, 5.7 ERA. So didn't pitch super great, but picked up a bunch of wins because the Mariners scored a ton of runs. So that is pretty awesome. And then 80, or sorry, the 90 Donruss rated rookie. Shout out to Brandon Stebbins. So hopefully you have this card, um, but if not, hook up uh, some Andy Bennis action. So awesome to get a rated rookie there. And then last but not least, oh, it was upside down. <clears throat> the number one draft pick, 1989 tops. 
So that one is awesome. <clears throat> Love picking these up with the draft picks. Um, uh, of course, you know, any of the rated rookies, you know, any of those things. But man, so I got four of four from Andy Bennis. Super stoked about that. So that wraps up part one of my top 10 TTM autographs of 2021. Post in the comments, which one was your favorite? If you want to see some more TTM autographs, check out this link here. Or if you want to see a tour of my card room, check out this link here. So stay tuned for part two coming up soon. And thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.